Hi, my name is Marianne Weber of MW's Designs. I create greeting cards and other paper craft. I am currently working on spring and summer themes. So I have come up with a rainbow watercolor embellishment design. Um, I use 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. You could use any size you like depending on what size you want your rainbow to be. I'm using a smaller piece of watercolor paper um, because I want it to fit on my cards. I place a saucer on the paper and using my mechanical pencil with a pink lead in it, I draw around the edge of the plate to form the arc. And the reason I'm using pink is so that um, when I put my first color red on, the pink will blend into it. I'm going to use um, a technique wet in wet, and that means I'm going to use clear water um, to wet the paper. And then of course the paint is wet, and the wet paint goes into the wet water on the paper. Now at the beginning of my video I showed you two rainbows. One was a smooth line and the other was kind of a jaggedy line and what I do is I just daub the paintbrush around so that I get a little bit more texture. I, I'm really fond of texture. Now this will dry lighter so I make sure that I get a fairly deep color of red on here. Now I will do another arc of the clear water. And my next color will be orange. And again, I'm going to daub the color around. And with the wet in wet technique, the paint will flow and I'll get a little bit of mixing of the colors. And I'm, I like that too because it also gives a little bit more texture. And I try and fill in so that there aren't too many white spots. Um, I should tell you about my paint brushes. The one that I'm using for the water is a square tipped one, um, number two. So that will go in beside my orange for the next color. And I'm going to clean off my other brush quite well because my next color is yellow and I want to get a really clean yellow color even though my my clear wire has a little bit of orange in it I think it'll still work okay so here comes my yellow and it really is interesting you never know what kind of effect you're going to get with the way the colors blend together so it's kind of fun. Okay, I need a little bit more water. And here comes my paint. Okay, and my next color is going to be green. It's kind of a balance in getting enough of the clear water, but not too much. You want to get the blending happening, but not a mess. Okay, and if you do end up having too much water in certain places, what you can do is you can take 
a dryer brush and you can use it as kind of a wick and it will lift off the excess paint. So you can um, correct a little bit. All right, just gonna go back and get rid of some of those white spots. Okay. And I actually didn't tell you about my other brush. This is a round tip number three. So going back to get my clear water again. And blue is next. I think you could use any kind of watercolor paints. You wouldn't have to have the expensive ones for this project because it's a fairly simple project and um, when you're just using it for embellishments you don't necessarily have to have um, the best pigments. I have kind of a mixture of paints here. Some of them are better quality and some are lesser but I'm finding my um, embellishments are turning out just the way I want them to. So here comes my next clear water. And now we're into purple. A little more pigment. And I just find it a really fun, relaxing project because I don't have to be too exact in it. And I'm really enjoying putting the paint down and just seeing what happens. All right, now I'm ready for my last color. So some clear water. And if it ends up not being um, really straight along the edges, I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to be cutting out the rainbow afterwards. Okay, so here is the violet for the last color. When the paint is dry, I will be putting on sparkles because I am very fond of sparkles and I really think rainbows should have sparkles. And then I cut out my rainbow and I can use it as an embellishment on um, the greeting card, of course, and I can use it on um, other items too. Like I think you could put it on gift bags or boxes or you could put it on journals and um, photo albums even. Just there's any number of things that you could um, use your imagination and add a rainbow to. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and I would also appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. If you also hit the little bell beside that, then you will be notified of upcoming videos from me. I plan to do more spring and summer themed paper craft, so I hope you will join me. See you soon.